Welcome back to another one. We are on Lake Eufaula in Oklahoma. This is my first time out here. Same drill as we've had the last four videos. Three days of practice, three days of tournament, a day off in between. This is my second one of the day. Caught both of them just right here on this point on a little drop shot. They were both around some brush and I saw both of them meet on live scope. Well, I just caught the same fish that I just had take my worm. There's my bait. Here's part of my worm. This is the fattest one, or the biggest one I've caught all day. He's out just kind of roaming on a flat. The biggest one of the day so far. This one went three and a quarter. He was pretty deep, group of like seven or eight of them that were all that same size, just kind of roaming around. Well, that's all for day one of practice. We will see y'all tomorrow morning. Day two of practice, I've already been fishing for a few hours now. Caught a couple of short fish. That's about it, I hadn't had any bites that I missed or anything. Doesn't really seem like, at least for me so far, there's as many fish in this area as there was yesterday on the same type of cover and structure. Alrighty, it is the third and final day of practice. I'm back down here where I fished on the first day. Gonna see if I can find some more areas or spots down in here to um, hit during the tournament. Sounds like it's been pretty tough on just about everybody. Hopefully we can figure something out. Oh, here's a keeper. He's not much of one, but I think a limit all three days will go a long way. Well, we just took off for day one. I may start here close if a spot is open. If not, then I'm gonna go back down and start on one of the points where I've caught a few keepers. It's gonna be a grind today, so keep our head in it all day and uh, make as many casts as we can. Keeper number one.
Oh my goodness, I hadn't caught anything on a spoon the whole time I've been here. And I was following around that wolf pack and they would not bite a drop shot. So I pulled this out of the rod locker and got one on it. Mr. Nelson, how you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Doing good. Got that stash going, looking debonair, my man. We like to see that. All right. He's got five in the bag today, a limit. Reagan, you got 14 in there? I'm going to put you in the top five if you got five in the bag, brother. All right, here we go. Reagan Nelson, five in the bag. Your leader right now, Will Harkins, just left the stage a couple anglers ago at 13, 15, almost six, 14 pounds even. But Reagan's going to go 12 pounds, 13 ounces, going to put you right there currently in third place. Limits are going to be limited. So it's good to get those five fish on day one. Yes, sir. I sure am grateful to have five of them. Hopefully we can go back out tomorrow and the next day and do it again. All right, my man. We'll see you on day two. Have a good evening, brother. All righty, guys. We're rolling out day number two. We got a camera today. Sitting in eighth place. We had 12.13 yesterday. That uh, 3.98 we caught went a long way with that. So hopefully we can catch a few more today and stay uh, in contention of this thing. There's a bunch of them. Next to the stage, boat number 11, Temple Fork Outfitters Pro from Athens, Texas. How about it for Reagan Nelson? So I found out a little inside information on Reagan, he was named after our president in the 80s, Ronald Reagan. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this name out there and we'll see if it sticks. We're going to start calling you the Gipper. I don't know if you know what that means and that was his nickname, but you ask your folks and they'll know what it is. But Reagan Nelson had 12 pounds, 13 ounces on day one. He's got three in the bag today for five pounds, even 17 pounds, 13 ounces. How about this? You're one out of the check line. Man, I wish I had two more of them today, but that's how it goes. We'll re-gear tonight and get ready for tomorrow. All right, brother, we'll see you on Showdown Saturday. 
final day takeoff. We slipped up a little bit yesterday and had three. We're gonna go back out today and try to get us five of them like we did the first day. We're still in check range if we catch a limit today, so we'll do our very best to do that. Fish hard to the last cast. Texas, how about for Reagan Nelson? All right, Reagan. 17 pounds, 13 ounces on the first two days. He's got five in the bag today. Good to see you, buddy. All right, 17.13 on the first two days. Got five today, a limit. I'm looking for 10 pounds and nine ounces to take the lead. 10 pounds and eight ounces is going to tie you for the lead unofficially right now. A heck of a day on Showdown Saturday. Yes, yeah, sir. Those two that I lost yesterday, that they're going to hurt me, but that's how it goes. A couple of baits that worked for you this week. Everything I caught was on a drop shot, looking at them on live scope. That live scope played a role there. We were watching the uh, live stream today on Fix TV with Luke and Fat Cat. Even if you get that bait in front of them, knock them on the nose. Sometimes it doesn't work. You got to throw a different bait out there. But if you're patient enough, you can get those fish to activate out of those brush piles. Yes, sir. For some of the fish, I'd throw it in there and let it sit 15, 30 seconds, and eventually they'd get a hold of it. All right, my man. Safe travels back home. We'll see if you're in the check line by the end of the day. Good job right there for Reagan. All righty, guys. We made it back home. I didn't shoot the outro while I was at the ramp because I kind of wanted to see how everything shook out. We ended up being one place out of the money in 21st. I'm happy with the top 25 against that group of anglers. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you all next time.